This is a video tutorial on OpenStreetMap and the Building Ireland project. So first of all, OpenStreetMap is a Wikipedia-like project that allows users to create and to edit the map of the world that we live in. And the Building Ireland project is one that seeks to mark out the land use of every building on the island of Ireland. So I'm going to bring you through the steps on how to make an account, how to map a building, and then how to get involved with the Building Ireland project. So first of all, we are here at obersheetmap.org. And the first thing which you need to do if you haven't is make an account. Then you'll need to go to your email to verify that you have given them the right one and then you can begin to edit. I already have an account, so I'm just going to log in and go from there. So the first view is the map that has already been created. We have an example of some houses here, a pub, a gas station or a petrol station, a, the local railway, the local guard or police, and then some roads and a church. So to see what we can do to improve this map, we'll go to up here, edit, and the first option is to edit with the ID browser. So if there's no special software needed, we can just have a look at this and make an improvement from the satellite imagery. So I will scroll in. And have a look at these houses. So there are three ways to edit a map. We have the point, the line and the area. So for today, we're going to just use the area. But just so you know, the line is used to make these roads. And a point is used to mark a place of interest, like the Gara station we saw a moment ago. So we have here some buildings and some sheds, or maybe it's a garage. So to begin, we go to area. Then we have a crosshairs tool that we can use to go to the edge of a building. Single click, go to the next edge single click, go to the third edge, and then the last edge, where we will double click. You may notice that the building is not exactly rectangular, which it most likely is. So we are going to right click on it and choose the option to square. And that will then make all the corners 90 degree angles. So that is step one in marking a building. Then we have to give it some tagging. And that's where we identify that it is a building. So we know that the software will handily tell us that it has no descriptive tags. And also on the right, we have a warning here that will also show us the mistake. If you have been mapping for a while and there are many of these buildings that have been marked off, we can hover over it and that hands by seeing the blue highlight. We can see among all of the other things we have mapped, which is the thing that lacks tagging. First of all, we will go to the arrow button at the top here, click back. Then we can use the building preset, which will give the building tags of building equals yes. So if we go to here, and that will give us the text view, we can see the format in which the tagging happens. So it is a key value pair. For the Building Ireland project, we are just aiming to mark the building as yes. There are more details we can add, but for the time being, I'm just going to show you the basics. So say here we have a house. So we go to 
area or we can press 3 as a shortcut and there's a slight bit of a let's see let's see there is so this building here is not exactly rectangular there are some it's a more complex shape and again we're going to square off the corners this time I will use the shortcut Q. No, sorry. first I need to highlight the building. So, oh, Q, yes, okay, there we go. And this here is not quite squared off. So let's go press Q again. Let's make sure that the angle is near enough so it recognizes that. So that's near enough to it. Now that we've made some changes, we're going to upload or save them to the main server. So up here at the top right, we have the amount of changes we've made. Then we can press that or as the shortcut shows us, press Control S. Ah, so here is the third way I can be warned that I have not appropriately marked the buildings. So I can close this here and then do the same thing as before building yes select the next one go back to the preset building is yes and that's done so now i shouldn't have any kind of errors come up when i try to save which we haven't so i will then add a description of what i've done added buildings and no driveway and then i will add my source which is being maps, which is this satellite view that we are using here. You can choose to have somebody review your edits, but I'm happy enough with what I've done. Then I go to upload and then it will save them to the database and it will be live in between a one minute or a few minutes. It just depends on how busy things are. The next thing we are going to do is show you the OpenStreetMap subproject Building Ireland and how we keep track of each part of the island and what buildings have already been mapped. So the next stage is to go to tasks.openstreetmap.ie where again we will make an account and as before you need to go to your email to verify that that is our email address and here that is extra important because you can't see some of the options before you do that there is also one extra step where we will grant access and this will allow your account with osm to be linked with this project as well to begin mapping we just need to go to the handy button at the top of the page which will then load in the different projects that are currently active. So I will select Sligo and that will highlight the county, which as you can see, has been divided up into lots of small squares. Some of them are smaller than others and that, and that is done to break down a particularly dense urban area into smaller and smaller squares so they don't take too long to map. The ones which are white have yet to be fully mapped. The ones which are yellow have been mapped and are awaiting validation. And then the ones which are green have already been validated. So I am going to pick somewhere small to start mapping. So I will select here. So that's now highlighted by selecting start mapping we can then have it highlighted in blue which means it has been locked in place so again if you don't see these particular options it means that you haven't validated your email and you have to do that before they will appear on your screen so we have the id editor which we used before and then we go to start editor which will launch a new tab in your browser then we will be able to see the tile overlaid on the map, which you can see here in purple, 
which also has a handy message of do not edit outside of this area. So let's zoom in a bit closer and we can see there is a few houses along this road as well as some barns and farmland. So let's just pick somewhere like here and have a look at what there is. So from what I can see here, we have a shed. So I will press three and go to the outline of the building. Double click as I did before to release. Press Q to square it off. Then we have a building here and uh, that appears to be a concrete pavement outside of the front door or perhaps the backyard. So let's again press three, go to the edge of the buildings, move in there and then here. So press Q again, oh, select, press Q and that should be roughly that shape. Next, of course, we will need to use the preset on each of these so that they receive the minimum of tagging. And then if we were to map the entire tile, then we would then move on and do all of these other buildings here. So one thing to be aware of is you see the shadow there um, has been cast by the sun. Sometimes the direction of the shadow can make knowing where a building starts and ends a bit difficult. But that's kind of something which you develop over time by learning to read the landscape. Now about the warning not to edit outside of the purple line. So, okay, so let's say that this house was a little bit further down and was halfway between these two. I would still draw the, the house and do the usual bits of mapping to it because I've seen it where somebody will mark, oh, I'll right click and uh, move. That's where somebody has marked the building like that, but actually it goes further up there. So for those kind of faces, there's a small chance you will clash with a different mapper. So it's better to map what's on the ground fully and be more accurate than to kind of map half a building. So we will save what we have done. And this time we have a hashtag that is part of the project, which allows us to track who is mapping buildings for the project. As before, we go to upload, save, save the changes. And as a last step, we go back to the project page. And if I had mapped all of the buildings in that particular tile, I would select mark as completely mapped and that would mark that tile in yellow. Since I haven't done that, I'm going to click on stop mapping. So just going back here for a brief minute. We also have the contact information for the Overshift Map Ireland project. And the one you should take note of is here on Telegram, which is an app for your phone like WhatsApp. And it's where we tend to be most active in talking to each other about mapping. Uh, thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoy mapping as part of the Building Ireland project.